what sucks about being a house dad. What sucks about being a house dad. <coughs> it's boring. Unfulfilling. Non-potential reaching. Mundane. Slightly degrading. Ill-adventurous. Boring. Boring. And boring. Also, being a house dad you relinquish a manpower that you take for granted. Not just a manpower, just a power that you take for granted. The power of, of, of providing economics, there's so much subliminal power that comes with breadwinner, money getter, provider, it's, um, it's a power that's almost a shield for an excuse for you to abuse it. And not in a bad way, in a natural way. Okay, provider. You go to work. Provider. Ruler. When lunchtime comes, you might not bring your lunch. You might go out to eat. But does she? Should she? Well, you just at home doing nothing. I'm out here doing this. So that's my reward. My punishment is while I'm out here working, I don't get to enjoy any almost anything that I'm actually working for. Everything goes right there to the house, right there to the bills, and entertainment for the family. Not me, the family. And then you get to get get it without working for it. She over there, well, what you giving me ain't worth what I'm doing. I mean, if a motherfucker paid me the salary that I get from you, the provider, to do the services that I do, which you think is nothing, I would turn that job down because it really ain't shit and I ain't getting paid shit. So, of course, this is both sides of it. There's a lot more gripes about both sides of it. Lack of potential, boring, monotonous, non-adventurous, no exploration, no mind elevation, just a circle. More of a figure eight loop that of course, it's exciting once you first get into it, but when you done did about 500 laps, uh, 5,000 laps, 25,000 laps. You know, every court, every corner, every turn, every circle. Every now and then, something dips different in it, but not much. This is why I'm writing the book Why Relationships Are Doomed to Fail. In order for it to succeed, I believe that you need to know first why it would fail. If you understand why it would fail, then you may, may have a shot at actually making it work. If you think it's worth it. A relationship is truly a team game. If you've never seen a team game before, the, what you see ain't team games. I mean, relationships are a team game. Successful ones. You can put them together don't work but a successful relationship is a team game 